they will begin repealing the Civil Rights Amendment of 1964 slowly over time, a promise to in the future repeal a law. The Civil Rights Amendment is the most celebrated law in American history. There are a whole genre of movies that do nothing but celebrate the passage of the Civil Rights Amendment. Half of our monument and street names are to people who have passed the Civil Rights Law. That's what There's a cult of Martin Luther King. It's built into our holidays. Support for civil rights is above 85%. Otto was freaking out because of the popular backlash that came from tearing down Roe v. Wade, which was what? 50-50 in the American people. That, that was a law that was highly, highly controversial. Opposition to it was in the 40s or 50s. Opposition to civil rights is in, if you're lucky, 4% of the American population. And 85% of the American population that's for it is not just for it, it's their fucking religion. They wake up in the morning and prostrate themselves towards the idea of civil rights. It's the reason they live their lives. It's the reason their lives have meaning. And a Congress is going to promise to repeal this law in the future after the side that would want to keep it is now just been handed fresh $280 billion of activist money every single year. Is this going to happen? <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. No. Oh, and, and what do we, what do we get? We get really angry white people. Okay, great. I don't know what I'm going to do with really angry white people because all of the white people that are angry enough that are outrageable have already been outraged. The only people the only white people who are not outraged at the Democratic Party at this stage do not care about racial humiliation. They don't care. Either that or they're just so apathetic and unagentic and low IQ, as Mr. Otto likes to say, that they will never do shit. So I'm this I'm angering people who 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 aren't first of all, are they even going to get angry? Otto has this idea they're gonna get angry at us spending trillions of dollars on slavery reparations. I'm not sold on that. Remember our laws of how normies think? Where our laws on how normies think are they don't emote about things that aren't right in front of their face. So if they're not looking at the federal budget, they're not going to get angry at it. And really, if people got angry at the government wasting trillions, they would have already gotten angry at the fact that we're paying trillions of dollars at interest on the debt that we've taken out for the last 80 years. That's going to absolutely nothing. Nobody who isn't already angry is going to get angry at this. And there's not going to be any awakening of racial consciousness or religious consciousness or ethnic consciousness among white people because they don't know how. They haven't been given permission to think about themselves that way. Consciousness of this variety, of the variety that Otto is thinking about it in, does not come from outrage. It comes from education. If you're not educated by people you think of as high status to see yourself in a collective way, you will not see yourself in a collective way no matter how angry you get. So people can spend and humiliate, spend and humiliate, spend and humiliate as much as they want until those people are organized to think of themselves as something that has worth and pride and substance as a collective. See my previous ideas. They will not act in a concerted and organized way. Their rage will be random and cathartic and just lash out at whatever is in the vicinity of what's bothering them and never be directed against the actual thing that's causing them harm or be directed in an actual way to develop long-lasting political power. It will just be rage directed to the universe generally, because that's what weak, divided, individualist people do when they get fucked over. They just rage against the universe because they've got no cohesion. They've got no agency. They've got no ability to act on the ground because they haven't built the power on the ground because we're all atomized and they haven't been taught how to do that. 